Hi third graders and welcome back. I'm Miss Nave and we are going to be working on determining important ideas using pushing up the sky. This is day three. In this lesson, we're going to be practicing acting out the play fluently and thinking of how we can put the play on at home. For this lesson, you will need your packet your school packet, your student response book, and your creativity. Now, if we were in school buildings, you and your class would have taken the play and separated the parts so that each student in the class could have a part in the play and acted it out together. Since we're not in that situation, we're not in school, we're not with our classmates, we're not in the school building, we're not with our classmates, we're going to use our creativity and a little flexibility today to try this ourselves at home. So first I want you to think, if you had a role in the play, if you picked one role, which character would you want to be and why? I've got the list of characters here. You can take a look. There's the narrator, bear, rabbit, turtle, raccoon, possum, otter, cricket. And there's also options for non-speaking parts. Which part might you like to read aloud and why? I know a lot of students in the past wanted to be narrator. Bear and rabbit and possum have been popular ones too because there are more speaking parts. I think that I've also had students want to be otter because they can make fun of the tail and say it's really ugly. <laughs> so this is really a personal preference, what you want, what you would want and why. So if you were to put the play on at home, you can do a couple of different things. You can read, just read out all the parts using different voices for each character. You can draw out your character as puppets. And if you have, you can just use paper for this, paper and pencil and draw them out in the way that the characters are described in the costume section of the book or the text. Or you can ask others in your home to be a part of your play. Now you can decide, and these are not just the only options. So I asked you to, you, you're using your creativity today to think of how you would want to put this play on at home and you might have a different creative way to do it. If you are going to be reading, well, either way you're reading is either you're reading it by yourself or you're reading with other people out loud, I want you to practice rereading the play fluently using different voices for the different characters. Also, take note of the exclamation marks and read that area with more excitement. Okay. And a part that I want to point out to you, you're going to put a little more emphasis on specific words, like when cricket and rabbit are talking about the special medicine. 
I wouldn't want to just read that flat out because Cricket and Rabbit both know special medicine means something a little different than what Possum thinks. So those are different ways that you can use your reading voice to help make the play more exciting for the listeners. Okay? Okay, thank you for working with me today, third graders. I'm excited to hear about the different ways that you are trying to put on this play at home. I'll see you next time. Bye.